and welcome back to the channel. Mr. Acolyte here coming at you with another match review and of course we are once again back at crossover 2024. We're getting down to the end of this. We have made it all the way to Seihan versus Pumping Priest. This is on the loser side so one of these two is going home. Let's not waste any time and break this down. Okay, characters have been selected. This is going to be interesting. I'm going to try to not be biased and root for our boy Priest, but Seihan has the Enzim team, and he's known for blocking, but can he block the Nappa mix? I know his blocking is insane, but blocking Nappa, we'll see. And then there's the baby to deal with, the baby zoning. Let's see. We're about to find out. What do we got? Ooh, this is much more calm neutral starting out than the last match. The last match, the neutral was insane. And there it goes again. We saw this with a lot of success in Seihan's last set. The overhead fake out. You do the M from way up high here. This allows you to do the triple overhead, but he fakes it with H and then goes low. The opponent ends up waiting for the H to go through and then just gets smacked low. Very, very hard to block. Ooh, Dragon Rush. That was a good Dragon Rush attempt right there. We're going to go for level three, I assume. Oh, no, we just want the knockdown. We believe we can, we believe we can get another hit. Nice use of the Super Dash in Spark. Ooh, and the Dragon Rush goes through. Okay. Seihan was probably thinking about Super Dash, not Super Dash stuff, but Sparking stuff. Ooh, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Okay, so I was looking for the switch into Nappa, and maybe that's what Seihan was looking for too, but he went for the reset into the command grab. I like it. I like it a lot. The best time to mix somebody with good defense is before they know that you're trying to mix them. <laughs> If the opponent believes that they are just in another situation, they're not looking for the mix. Yeah, like the commentator said, you cannot block a reset. <laughs> it's very true. Okay, spooky stuff going on here. Pressure against Cell is always spooky. That's why he stopped right there. I mean, he's negative, but yeah, he didn't do anything. Could have did dash OS, but... Yeah, st staying calm here. I respect it. You don't want to get hit by Cell. And after looking into each other's eyes, they both hit a button. But Seihan comes out on top there. There is a million meter here. So, of course, we're going to go for level three. This is a left right. Uh, no spark on Priest's side. So, he's going to have to hold this. This is spooky. Oh, and it's just the low. Man, it's crazy because this low is so slow. It's not even like a fast low. But it's just that you're looking for the left, right, so that's why it hits you. It's just, it's just crazy how potent that situation is. That, this situation is just so, so insanely potent. You're just designed to get hit. Assist steal, Vegeta. I love it. Love when I see baby players using the assist steal. Assist steal is so good. It's especially good here. I like what Priest is going for. He doesn't want to spend his Nappa. Like, he wants Nappa ready to call. That way he can bring him in for the mix. That's why he's sticking to uh, Stolen Assist. And I like this idea because Stolen Assist doesn't cost you anything. It's completely free unless you do the C Assist. Then it costs you half a bar. But even then, worth it. So he goes for the 6H into Tag, but Sehan jumps out of it. He said, no, thank you. Ooh, Priest tried to chase him in the scramble here, but he ends up paying for it. His whiffed by them, and actually he continued on, and it does get him hit there. A little bit of an overextension right there, and it looks like we're going into another level three. This is not good. This is not good for Priest. Oh, man. Yeah, Seihan, man, unless I'm just not paying enough attention... Seihan's doing a lot of mix-ups I have not seen lately. This time he frame-killed it with the stagger here and then did the spin and called the assist. So it's like he's putting a little bit of an extra layer on the mix that you're used to seeing. He did the same thing in the last episode with dashing forward, jumping backwards with 18. I like it. He may be using Intim's team, but he's using some... Unique strats of his own. 
Also, I like this right here. I like that say uh, that Sehan. I like that Priest did not panic. His uh, JS whiffed, but he just did another one. It's very common for baby players to whiff a JS panic and then vanish to save themselves and get smoked. But I like that he did not go down that path. Actually, he got a hit. Ah, oh, oh, drop opportunity. Drop opportunity. We can get a mix up here. Okay, just regular. We, we didn't want this corner steal. We're just doing regular. Make sure it doesn't drop. I respect it. Assist steal. Okay, I respect it. He's playing safe. He's playing anti-cell strats. It's better to pressure from over here where a perfect attack can't get you. Ooh, that's spooky. Ooh, landing recovery. <gasps> that was good. That was good. I like this. I like this. He forced a spark out of him. Priest is playing really well. Mm, perfect attack. Ooh, above average attack. He had a button on the way down. And that is gonna be game one going to Seihan. That was, that was some nice stuff on both sides. I like that. That man Seihan always looks so bored while he's playing. <laughs> I mean, I know he loves this game, but man, does he look bored. <laughs> okay, we're going in to the next game here. Seihan is up by one. It's gonna be up to Priest to make an adjustment to hang on there. And wow, the music sounds really loud. Okay, here we go. Cell Games Arena. Ah. Oh, thank God. Okay, so what happened there? It looked like he tried to do a beam. I mean, that's that's fine. He tried to do beam at neutral, but Cell C Assist said, hey, guess what? I exist. Hey, guess what? It's my neutral, not our neutral. But luckily, he does not get happy birthday and the combo drops. This Man, this is all Priest. This is coming up Priest. This is a hexed match. Hold on. If, this, if I were streaming this, the chat would call this an Echo Hex, even though I didn't do anything. Nice. Okay. Priest. Okay. Talk to him. What do, what do we want here? We just want this. We want the Napa Mix. Oh, okay. Whoa. Okay. That was a very unorthodox mix i thought again we were bringing in napa but no he did a reset into super dash into call napa and i mean it worked we take those i feel like maybe priest is trying to think outside the box because it's sehan and i really respect that if that's the case i really respect that trying to think outside the box because a normal mix-up is never in a million years going to hit seon so you got to get creative armor oh that is oh man just funny that he just has that by default he just this is just an attack that he has <laughs> isn't that funny you ever think about that that's just an ability that he has. Whoa. Nice. I like that. Fighting fighting out of the corner. Ooh, that was... Ooh, this is so scary. Okay. A rolling crush into the H. Ooh, this might be the end of Nappa. Dang. Yeah, that's too bad for Priest. He needed this. If Nappa goes down early, that's never a good sign. On any Nappa player's team, you never want Nappa to be the first one to die. He's always going to be the teeth of the team. But he does have Baby and Cell together. I'm going to admit, though, this is a very unorthodox shell. Let's see what uh, Priest can do with it, though. Nice. Nice use, again, of the assist deal. I love seeing assist deal in tournament. It's rare that you get to see assist deal in tournament setting. Whoa. The option select. I made a video about this. If you're curious about how to do this, that's the clash option select right there. No, sir, I do not want to be a part of this. Pass. I like the way... Um, that that was good on both sides. I want to talk about both perspectives here. I like the way Seihan is approaching Baby. He's just using Dash OS, like, just constantly, because he just doesn't want to get shot. But the way uh, Priest is using the EX grab is really good, too. He's just using it at those moments where someone might jump back or might IED forward, and it's catching. That's really nice. Baby's uh, EX command grab is... Incredibly strong. It's super, super fast. Level three. Bring her back down. Get a little bit of mix here. Okay, that was spooky. That could have been a tick throw setup. Oh, man. 
and he, he went for it. It just didn't go through. Oh, man. Just slightly missed time there, but I respect the attempt. I respect that. That would have hit, too. If the timing had been perfect, that he would have scooped her. Oh, what did that throw there? Let me see. What got thrown? Oh, a, really? That is unlucky. That is extremely unlucky. He teched with 2H, but it, the startup frames got thrown. Ooh, tried to sneak out of there, and Cell said, nah, -uh. No way. And here we go. There's just a cell. I mean, this is totally doable. That's what? How many perfect attacks does he need to win? Three? Two for cell and one for 18? That's only three perfect attacks. Oh, but the slide goes through. Ooh, the slide goes through the door. A man's going for a ride here. Level three. This is going to be guess for game. The game is on the line here. Uh, oh, and the crisscross is going to have Sehan eliminating Pumping Priest. GG's, GG's. Yet another really fun set right here. I like this one. This was pretty fun. A lot of good decisions on both sides. Some really powerful mix-ups and resets in this set, which was really cool to see. Obviously, I think the turning point was right here when Nappa got killed. Nappa got killed. It kind of turned the tide a little bit in Sehan's favor. They were still arguably going back and forth at 2-2. Two to two, And Priest did have some opportunities. It's just that, like... This one miss right here on the tick throw setup. If the tick throw had setup had gone through, he probably would have killed 18. So yeah, that was kind of one too. And then like the final nail in the coffin was this right here, the dragon rush going through. That was just that was just very unlucky. But besides those things, this was very well played. Uh, I, I really like this match. Like I said, Tehan, he just. He's got that defense that just makes you have to play sort of differently, which is crazy. But again, definitely good stuff to both players. These fellas are really putting on a show out there for us. And that's going to bring us to the end of the review. Thanks so much for listening, guys. We are just about done with the crossover, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss anything. If you want to see some more stuff from me, check out my playlist at the end of the video with plenty of matches, match reviews, and even, even a new segment for me that I just came up with, Replay Rewind. Be sure to check all that out. But as always, I appreciate you guys. Y'all have a good one, and I'll see you in the next one. Ace.